a taco in its, its barest and most essential form is a tortilla with a product on it that you're compelled to eat. My name is Alex Dupac and I'm the chef and owner at Empeon. We're going to make one of the simplest and most delicious salsas you can make. We're just going to make a raw salsa verde. We have some cut up tomatillos, a couple cloves of raw garlic, two serrano chilies, just stemmed in really rough chopped, about a bunch of cilantro, the leaves picked off, juice of a couple limes, a good liberal pinch of salt. We just put it in the blender and press play. This is literally one of the fastest, freshest salsas that you can make. We have a great salsa, and now we're gonna make a great guacamole. We have some avocados. We can feel that they're ripe. You push them with their thumb, they kind of yield, but they don't feel mushy. Another thing to look for is to see that that little piece where the stem attaches to the tree is still intact. We're just gonna pull that off. We're gonna pit our avocados, so we're going to cut into them. We're just gonna go all the way around the pit laterally. To get the pit out, you take the heel of a knife, and just go like that. Sometimes you see people, they mash it with an avocado masher, they use the back of a fork. We actually use a resting rack. Our guacamole is quite minimal. Um, we like to taste the avocado. We don't like to add tomatoes because we believe that tomatoes make a, a watery guacamole. We take some avocado, we take some salt, we take a little bit of diced jalapeno, a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of onion, and some cilantro, and that's it. So it's all just green on green. The rule at Empeon when we're making guacamole is you can still see both colors of the avocado. One of my favorite fillings, which is, is incredibly simple, is just some, some fried Mexican chorizo with some potatoes. It's just, it, it's super satisfying, it's super economical and cheap to make, and it's, it's really delicious. If you don't start with a great tortilla, no matter what you put on it, it kind of doesn't matter. You're gonna need a tortilla press, and you're gonna need to line that tortilla press with something. So we use these sort of, uh, these sealable bags, just because the plastic is sturdy. We have some masa. You can either make it yourself by mixing a, an instant masa with water. You can go to a tortilla factory, um, and they'll usually sell you some of theirs. You're gonna pull off a little ball of it, about the size of a golf ball, and you're gonna roll it in your hands. You're gonna cup it like this. Then you're gonna flatten it out a little bit. Then you're just gonna place it in the center of that press. And you're gonna press down a little bit. And you're gonna turn it the other way. Press down gently again. And it's actually a fairly gentle pressure. The machine's doing the work. So that's been griddling for about a minute and a half. I'm just gonna flip that over and let it cook for another couple minutes on the other side. Tortilla's done and we keep ours warm, we put them in a little beach cooler like this. You wanna deliver them piping hot. If you keep them in that little beach cooler, 30 or 40 tortillas will stay hot for hours and hours and hours. Making tacos is really just about getting everything to this point. I'm not gonna to be too careful to make it pretty or dainty, and I'm also gonna be careful not to put too much on. I think an overloaded taco is kinda of like an overloaded pizza. It's just not fun to eat. Tacos are definitely my favorite food at this point. They're kind of this equalizer of man, like in that whether you're a billionaire or you live in a tiny apartment in Williamsburg, we all crave tacos. It's one of those foods I can't describe it. Once you, once you get it in your brain, you just have to have it right then and there.